Hi, welcome to Gary's Hobby Studio, and in this video I'm going to go over a couple of things that came in the mail today for me for uh, my Great Mazinger Z project that will be coming up soon as a video. I'm going to be assembling it and painting it and everything. Um, plus, you know, uh, I'm going to be doing other future videos. Um, right now I'm working from home because of the coronavirus. Um, my company, you know, is making us work from home. So let's get started with what I want to show you. Okay. So I got these paints in the mail today. They are the Vallejo Metal Color Airbrush Colors. Um, I picked these colors out to closely match uh, the Great Mazinger Z's current colors in plastic. The only difference is going to be... Um, the blue violet it's more of a purplish plastic or maybe a bluish but it's it to me it's too dark i have a um i have a color from uh createx it's blue violet looks really nice as a matter of fact i can show you what it looks like because i painted this um and I hate this camera. I really have to replace it because there's no way for me to zoom or anything. But hopefully you can see the color. And I painted this Space Marine that I got with it. And it looks really nice. I really like it because like sometimes with the way the light hits it, it's dark. And sometimes it's lighter. Uh, it just depends on how the light hits it. So that's what I'm going to use on those parts. Uh, for most of the, which I just tested it out, uh, this silver part here on his arm, that's the Dura Aluminum from the Metal Color range. Looks really, really nice. It's going to work well for the silver parts. Uh, I'm, I haven't tested this, but this is for the gray pieces. Uh, it's exhaust manifold from Vallejo's range for the model color and uh, you know again I haven't tested it out but if it if it's anything like the swatches and and some of the other videos I've seen this is going to look really really good on it and the steel I think I'm going to try it for the great Mazinger Z's uh because he has double swords I don't know how I'm going to pose him or anything yet when it's done but uh this is definitely something that I really really want to uh really test out uh, and the weird thing is, is that Vallejo actually put uh, shakers in that. I mean, you can hear it as I'm shaking it, which is weird because I bought this one a while back. They must have switched and decided to put, uh, you know, an, an agitator in there. But I actually had to put one in the uh, gunmetal gray that I bought a while ago. So it's, it's interesting that they they put it in because I picked up quite a few... And sorry, I'm trying to reach up and get it while I'm talking. But I picked up about 3,000 stainless steel ball bearings here, uh, which will be going in my paints as I open them, because there's still some that I have not opened up yet that need a paint agitator, like uh, some of these ones from Golden, because I'm going to experiment with these to use these on either terrain miniatures, like, you know, through airbrushing or whatever, because I've got a new airbrush coming in. Hopefully soon, but depending upon the coronavirus, it may delay it. So there's that. Um, and I also bought their uh, metal varnish. I don't know if it has any kind of metal flakes in it or not, but I figure may as well, uh, you know, use this here to seal all the parts, which is great. Um, so I picked up these three. I've got a couple more. I've got their... Uh, gloss black primer coming in the, from this range uh, again i'm hoping it has like some kind of metal flakes or not um but if it doesn't you know that's fine because the gloss should help a lot of these like shine a little more which i will definitely test and and show um but yeah i mean this th this is going to look really nice and if everything the way i have it planned out and stuff uh works the way it should the great mazinger z is going to look really really good um, I, I do prefer Vallejo, uh, my order of paints would be Vallejo, uh, Reaper, 
scale color is really good. Um, I'd say Reaper and scale color could flop back and forth between the two. But yeah, I mean, I, that's that's what you know. It would be Vallejo first. Um, tough choice between Reaper and scale color or scale 75 uh, paint because they both have their pluses and minuses as far as like colors go I think Vallejo has the largest there could be somebody else somebody else out there if there is please feel free to you know correct me um, but yeah it would be Vallejo first I say Reaper second scale color third army painter fourth um, Badger's Minotaur line uh, fifth because I used uh, their Pestilence Flesh on um, oh, whatever I, I'm drawing a blank um, Trandosians that's it uh, the, the Trandosian Hunters from Imperial Assault I painted their skin with that which looks really good I, but it ended up a little too shiny from um, when I used a brush, so I'm thinking maybe an airbrush, maybe I might experiment with that. Um, I might also follow uh, Sir Astro's guides for that. But uh, yeah, then uh, it would be the Minotaur line, and then I want to say GW because, uh, and I'll just let me switch back um, because I had to convert these over from their little like pots to um, these type of bottles because it just makes it easier to, to mix up and I thinned it out with a little bit of flow enhancer so I have to watch mixing that with if I'm mixing these with other colors because it'll be really soupy and runny but it just makes it easier to you know instead of like you know like guessing the size because you know everybody uses a different size brush like you know or different size whenever they're using brushes to scoop out the paint this way when it says like two of this to one of this I can drop two of the one and one of whatever color or whatever the case may be um, that's why I give them like last and there might be some other ones um, I can't think of it right off the top of my head, but those are the main ones that I have. And like I said, I really like the Vallejos, um, especially anything that's in a dropper bottle. I really like it. I've I've used um, some of the gold from Scale 75 because that's what's on this guy right here. And let's see if I can pull him up closer. Eh, he's a little blurry because he's not because it's not like focusing, and I can't do this. <laughs> But anyways, um, but yeah, I used I used their gold on there, which is really nice looking. Um, so I, that's part of the reason why I like Scale Seventy Five. Their, their their paints are really good too. Um, the three best in mine because I have used some Reaper. I have used uh, I use more try to use more Vallejo because I really like their stuff better. Uh, but. You know, like I said, Reaper and uh, the three main ones that I like are those three. But, uh, yeah, the Great Mazinger Z, which, give me one second, I just got to reach up here. But, yeah, this is the Great Mazinger Z model kit that I haven't even opened up the plastic or anything. Um, but as you can see, there's like, you know, here's some of the silver parts of the body. And that there's one of his blades of his swords. And that's where, like I said, the steel is going to come into. Uh, this is the yellow for the, um, I don't know if they call it scrambler or scrander. But anyways, whatever they call the, the jetpack for the, for the Mazingers. Because um, I can't think of it right off the bat of my hand, you know, right off the top of my head. But they, uh, they basically have, some parts are yellow, some parts are red. And I, I'm gonna, I think I found two colors uh, to, for the yellow and red. Uh, they're both in the Vallejo's model airline, which I do have both of those. I'm thinking about mixing in uh, some of their uh, metal medium, which I don't 
think I have that. No, I don't have that handy. But it's just a medium that has metal flakes in it to turn a regular paint into metallic, which should help, like I said, the, the shiny reflectiveness of it. So here's like more gray parts. And then right here, it, it, like these are like a dark purple. It's not like a blue violet to me. So that's where, like I said, I that's why I want to paint these with that blue violet from Createx Wicked series, Wicked line. It, it I think it's going to look really nice because uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do tests where I'm going to like put some like you know maybe like a one to one ratio, see how that looks, and then try you know maybe cutting the metallic flake back until I get it to the right consistency. But uh, these ones here are really going to be nice when. I, I do that. And there's other parts in here too that, like I know the black, uh, that's why I got the gloss black primer because that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to like use that to gloss these here. And hopefully they have some metallic flake. If they don't, like I said, I, I'm, I can always mix some in. And here's the red pieces that I was saying. And then for the clear here, I'm thinking about to like whenever they whenever they in the cartoons they do the the breast fire that fires a beam out of out of this piece right here since it's like a translucent plastic i was thinking about putting like a chrome silver or something shiny here and then hit it with a with a gloss black behind it to help make it stand out because the the rays uh separate edges you know you shouldn't be able to see because of how thick they are although no my luck it won't work out that way <laughs> uh, I could try to do the individual deep pieces and then put the gloss black coating over top of it that way it covers everything and separate it, again these are all gonna be like tests and stuff like that but um, but that's why for the impromptu video on the the great Mazinger Z build because uh, it's from the Mazinger Z Infinity movie that uh, came out I want to say two or three years ago which I found it and got it um, but yeah um, that's pretty much what's currently going on plus like I said I might show like you know me scraping uh, flash uh, molding off of these type of figures uh, you know like this size uh, definitely for this here because there's going to be because they're on sprues there's going to be the ends and you have to take it off and file it which like I said I, I, I don't know when exactly because I'm uh, waiting on a uh, spray booth to come in because I currently use a box right now which you can do that the only thing is is that any fine mist once it hits the back of the box, it starts coming towards you. And if you really want to see how I do it and, and with these webcams and the way they work, because, uh, again, I don't have a decent camera to that I can zoom and focus and all kinds of stuff, which hopefully at some point I will get one. Um, I don't want the 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 float the floating particles coming back and like sticking to cameras and stuff like that i mean sticks to me sticks to the brush the airbrush that's fine i have no problems with that uh just because of the simple fact that i don't i don't want the cameras ruined because again i mean i paid you know enough for because of the microphone and the, and stuff like that um but that's you know i'm gonna show that i'm gonna show working on minis because i have tons of minis to to do and um if there's anything you guys you know want to know ask me questions feel free to you know leave them in the comments um if you like what i'm doing you know please you know hit the hit the like button on it it helps out with the algorithm uh subscribe and hit the bell icon select all because that way anytime i post anything you'll be able to see it and believe me uh you know i want to help people that want to get into the hobby um i also want people to you know because i also do like computer stuff and and you know because uh, i just did one about why you should update your bias and drivers uh probably leave that link in the end credits you know at the end of this uh, but yeah, you know, like I said, if you like everything, please like and subscribe and, you know, hit the bell, select all, so that way anytime I post anything, you will 
get the notification that you know hey here it is and as always um, have a good day and you know don't be afraid of the hobby